Pluto, a far-flung and enigmatic world, was once a solitary and reliable planet within our solar system. However, recent discussions among leading astrophysicists, including Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku, have thrust Pluto back into the limelight with surprising revelations. These scientists have proposed that Pluto's orbit may eventually intersect with Neptune's a notion that raises questions about how such a collision might occur and what the consequences could be. Could this lead to a fascinating and unusual anomaly, or is there something more to this potential planetary collision? Join us as we delve into the possible outcomes of a Pluto-Neptune impact. Pluto, once considered a planet in its own right, is now relegated to a smaller category thanks to its unusual orbit and its status as a dwarf planet. Despite its demotion, Pluto remains a subject of fascination and research within the scientific community. Recent studies by leading astronomers show that Pluto's orbit is perilously close to Neptune's raising alarms among astrophysicists like Tyson and Kaku about the possibility of a catastrophic collision between the two. But how could such a collision happen? Unlike the other planets in our solar system, Pluto follows an eccentric path around the Sun, taking an astonishing 248 years to complete one full orbit. Since its discovery in 1930, Pluto has not even finished a single orbit around the Sun. However, the intrigue surrounding Pluto does not end there. Its orbit is characterized by a highly elliptical shape, unlike the nearly circular orbits of the larger planets. What makes Pluto's orbit even more perplexing is its tilt. Pluto's orbit is tilted at an angle of 17 degrees to the plane of the solar system, adding complexity to its orbital dynamics. This tilt combined with its irregular shape makes Pluto's orbit significantly more chaotic compared to the other planets. One of the most interesting aspects of Pluto's orbit is its interaction with Neptune's orbit. For approximately 20 years of each orbit, Pluto actually comes closer to the Sun than Neptune contrary to what one might expect based on their positions within the solar system. This raises the natural question, why hasn't Pluto collided with Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational influences of other planets in the solar system. When Pluto's orbit was first studied after its discovery, astronomers struggled to understand its unusual trajectory. Unlike the orbits of other planets which lie close to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's orbit stands out due to its steep tilt and elliptical shape. The mystery surrounding Pluto's orbit only deepened when it was found that in the grand scheme of things, Pluto's orbit does indeed cross that of Neptune's. This apparent paradox is resolved by the complex gravitational dynamics of the solar system, specifically through a phenomenon known as the three-body problem. The three-body problem in astrophysics is the challenge of predicting the motion of three objects like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun that influence each other through their gravitational forces. The interactions between these objects create a dynamic system that is difficult to predict as each body affects the others in a constantly changing way. For Pluto, this three-body problem helps explain why its orbit is stable despite crossing Neptune's orbit. One key concept that keeps Pluto's orbit stable is libration. In the case of Pluto and Neptune, this term refers to the phenomenon where whenever Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, the two planets are always at least 90 degrees apart. This spatial separation is crucial in preventing the two bodies from colliding. Another important factor is degree libration, which refers to the vertical movement of a celestial body within its orbit. For Pluto, this means that when it comes close to Neptune or any other large planet, it remains situated well above or below the plane of their orbits, adding another layer of protection against potential collisions. A third concept that stabilizes Pluto's orbit is VZK wobbling named after the three scientists V, A, K, L, and O, who studied how celestial bodies move in space. This phenomenon refers to the way in which Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun influence each other through gravity, causing slight shifts in their positions over time. In Pluto's case, VZK wobbling helps explain why its orbit, despite seeming erratic, remains stable. These forces contribute to maintaining Pluto's orbit for incredibly long periods, possibly even billions of years. Although Pluto's orbit is chaotic in nature, these gravitational influences from other planets help keep its trajectory stable. In the broader context of the solar system, these forces play a vital role in preventing planets and other celestial bodies from crashing into one another. Without these stabilizing factors, the solar system would be a much more tumultuous place with planets and dwarf planets potentially colliding or being ejected from their orbits causing a cascading series of impacts. For Pluto, this is especially important given the ongoing discussions about a potential collision with Neptune. Understanding Pluto's orbit gives us insight into the dynamic nature of the solar system. It serves as a reminder that even the most seemingly unstable orbits can achieve a state of equilibrium through the intricate dance of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. 
The study of Pluto's orbit also highlights the need for continual research and observation to better understand the forces that shape our solar system. The case of Pluto illustrates the importance of studying the unpredictable nature of celestial bodies and the role that gravitational interactions play in their movements. The concept of orbital resonance which refers to the delicate balance of gravitational forces that govern the orbits of celestial bodies is clearly demonstrated by Pluto, even small changes in its position or speed can dramatically alter its long-term orbit. In the late 1980s computer simulations provided valuable insights into Pluto's orbit these simulations showed that despite the stabilizing effects of phenomena like libration Pluto's orbit can still be highly unpredictable. A tiny deviation in its initial conditions such as its position or velocity could result in dramatic differences in its path over the course of millions of years. Despite this inherent unpredictability these models also showed that Pluto's orbit remains relatively stable over billions of years suggesting that its journey around the Sun follows an underlying order even if it appears chaotic. However these simulations also revealed the challenges of making precise long-term predictions. The three-body problem combined with the sensitivity of the system to initial conditions means that predicting Pluto's future trajectory is a complex and uncertain task. Although simulations provide a useful tool for understanding and forecasting the behavior of celestial bodies, they are limited by the precision of the initial data and the complexity of the forces at play. As scientists continue to study Pluto's orbit and the forces that govern its motion, we can expect new discoveries and insights that will deepen our understanding of the solar system and beyond. The possibility of a future collision between Pluto and Neptune is unlikely, but the very notion of such an event serves as a reminder of the unpredictable and ever-changing nature of the universe. Whether we are studying the distant reaches of the solar system or exploring the mysteries of space, we are constantly learning and adapting our understanding of the cosmos, always striving to uncover the unknown and to answer the questions that have yet to be posed. The case of Pluto is a powerful reminder of the need for continued curiosity and exploration. While the paths of celestial bodies may appear fixed and predictable, they are always subject to the forces of nature which can lead to unexpected and sometimes dramatic changes. As we learn more about Pluto and its interactions with Neptune, we are reminded of the delicate balance that governs the solar system and the vast mysterious universe beyond. With each new discovery, we are one step closer to understanding the forces that shape the stars and planets, and perhaps even our own place in the cosmos. As we continue to study Pluto's orbit and interactions with other celestial bodies, one thing remains clear the solar system is far more dynamic and complex than we once believed. While the possibility of a direct collision between Pluto and Neptune remains highly improbable due to gravitational stabilizing factors scientists remain intrigued by how Pluto's orbit might evolve over millions or even billions of years. Although Pluto's current orbital resonance with Neptune helps prevent collisions gravitational interactions with other planets especially Jupiter and Saturn could cause slight perturbations in its trajectory over vast timescales. Even small changes in Pluto's velocity or position could accumulate altering its orbit in ways that are difficult to predict. One possible scenario is that Pluto's orbit could become even more elongated pushing it farther into the Kuiper Belt vast region of icy objects beyond Neptune. In this case, Pluto might move into a more isolated region of space, decreasing its interactions with Neptune and other planets. Alternatively, if gravitational forces act in an unexpected way, Pluto could be nudged closer to Neptune, altering their delicate orbital relationship. Another fascinating possibility, albeit unlikely, is the potential for Pluto to be ejected from the solar system entirely. While this would require a major gravitational disturbance such as a close encounter with another large object or even an unknown planetary body in the outer solar system scientists have long speculated about the potential for smaller celestial bodies to be thrown into interstellar space. If Pluto were to be displaced from its orbit, it could become a rogue planet, a planetary body wandering through space without a host star. While rogue planets have been detected elsewhere in the galaxy, this would be an extraordinary fate for Pluto transforming it from a former planet of our solar system into an interstellar traveler. Since Pluto's reclassification as a dwarf planet in 2006, there has been ongoing debate about whether it should be reinstated as a full-fledged planet. Some astronomers argue that the definition of a planet should be revised allowing Pluto to reclaim its status. In particular Pluto's geologically active surface, its atmosphere, and its complex interactions with its largest moon Charon suggest that it behaves more like a planet than a simple Kuiper belt object. If new discoveries reveal additional planetary characteristics, there may be renewed discussion about changing its classification once again. The Role of Future Missions to Pluto Despite being one of the most studied objects in the Kuiper belt, Pluto remains largely unexplored. The New Horizons mission which flew past Pluto in 2015 
provided the first detailed images and data about its surface atmosphere and moons. However, this was only a brief flyby and there is still much we don't know.